Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank God this day for a day such as this. We give Him praise and adoration. We are still here. We are still alive. We are still moving and having our being in Him. We thank the Most High God for the precious gift of life. Beloved, let's pray before we share a short word. Father, we thank you, we bless you for how far you brought us. Ebenezer, may your name be praised. May you be glorified. You are the only true God. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you for this morning. Come and take control over what we are going to share. And let it be a seed that will be watered by the presence, by the Spirit of, in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We bless you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, I want us to share a short passage in the Bible. And then uh, it is about how God calls us and gradually calls us to wash our clothes in the blood of Jesus. So today I want to talk about washing. How we wash and then we become clean. In the book of Revelation chapter 7, and I read from verse 13. Revelation chapter 7 verse 13. Uh, the Bible says, Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they? Where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God, and serve him day, day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. We are talking about washing. So you see, uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes, you uh, may hear that people are going to wash their feet, they are going to wash their hands, they are going to wash that. Fine. They might all be good, but the issue here is that Washing is in the blood of Jesus. So the Bible says, Bible actually is telling us that as we are alive and we are in Christ, he said those that wash their robes in the blood of Jesus, they shall be sheltered in his presence. They are the ones that he will wipe their tears, their hungers, and give them peace. A place they can call their own before the presence of God. So he said, he was asked, those in white robes, who are they? You see, Jesus gave us a parable. He said, uh, the, 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 the people who were invited to the banquet, he described a banquet that was held in the honor, in his honor. And then he said that those that were invited did not accept the invitation. So then he asked the organizers, the servants, to go out there into the streets, into the marketplaces, to everywhere and invite all people to come in. So you see, he was describing how the kingdom of God that he has proclaimed to the people was going to be formed. That he has come he has come to his own he has come to the house of Israel and they have rejected to come to the banquet hall. But then he said that they should go everywhere. They should open the door so that everybody will come in. So you see the word spread out when they rejected the word 
they rejected Christ. So the word spread out. So you see what he said came to pass that they should go all over and invite everybody. So we were the people in the marketplace. We were the people in the unholy places. We were Gentiles. We were not allowed into the house of the living God then. But then he said that once they rejected him, he opened the door that we should also come in. But he said there was, there was, there was a person amongst the guests that were invited. He was not wearing the right clothes. So you see, having the right clothes on you is very, very, very important. Every man has a nature. The true you has a nature. What robe are you wearing? Is your robe washed in the blood of Jesus? Because what it is is that washing is a process, as we all know. You wash your clothes. Those of us who lived, uh, who came from, from wherever we came from, and we used to wash our clothes with our hands. Not in this modern day where we, 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 are, uh, we actually throw them the washing machine and then it runs automatically and washes them for, for us. Even then, it takes time to wash. Every washing takes time to wash. So when we are called into Christ, Christ expects us that with the time we have on our hands, with the time we, live, we are living our lives as we live in him, we will gradually be washing our clothes. So every aspect of our lives that is we, we believe is not fully whole within Christ, we wash it in his blood. Because of the blood of Jesus, we wash it. When we have come to Christ, so, so the Bible says that if we have come to live in Christ, we should also walk in him. So you see, as we do that, then we wash our clothes gradually. The pain you are going through, the crucible you are in. After all, he says he's, he he called you in in the in the in the in the in in in, in, in the crucible to refine you. Then he said, in a big house, there are many articles. But if a man purges himself, how do you purge yourself? You need to come come th through a process and that process in the book of revelation is saying is the washing in the blood of jesus we need to day by day be washed our behavior the way we talk the way we relate to people we are not perfect but god expects us that our conscience will not be seared our conscience will be a conscience that is able to sift through and know that this is wrong and this is right because he has set a day another day when he has set a day to judge the world the whole world according to his own laws because he has set in our hearts in us laws that governs us We do not own ourselves. If we have come to live in Christ, Christ owns us. We are his and the sheep of his pasture. That is why he says that when we live in him, in the passage that we read, he said the sun will not burn them. Heat will not burn them. And the psalmist says that the sun will not, will not burn you by day. And the moon will not do the same at night. For the presence of the Most High God is always with those whose, whose robes are being washed in the blood of Jesus. As you have opportunity to live this, this day, I pray that you will continue to wash your clothes, your robe, in the blood of Jesus. For everybody that cometh into Christ, he said that when the prodigal son went off and he came back, we were all, we were all like the prodigal son. When we came to Christ, 
When we came to our God through the blood of Jesus, through the death on the cross of Calvary, he says he asked his servants to, to put a new clothes, a new rope on us. The rope that made people see you and say, this sister, this brother is a Christian. That made people see the goodness that is in you. That your nature has changed. So the songwriter said, let the beauty of Christ be seen in me. That clothes that shows people out there the beauty of Christ, the love of Christ, that make people know that you are a new creature. You are a new creation. And the love of Christ is in you. Let us love him. Let us live in him. For he said, we should love one another. We should live in his love by obeying his commands as he obeyed the commandments of his father, our God. And abided in his love. May the love of Christ. That is able to constrain us. Because the Bible say, says that we are constrained by the love of Christ. When you want to do something that is not good. It is the love you have for Jesus. That constrains you. Because if you love your God. You will love your neighbor. Then you fulfill. The whole commandments. May the Lord help us to wash our clothes in the blood of Jesus. Because he says that these are the ones who have washed their clothes. They are the ones God is seeking for in this life. Are you washing your clothes? Your clothes may not be perfect. Because when he shall come, then all perfection shall come. But for now, we are still washing our clothes. We are still we are still washing our, our our clothes, and we are moving on. We are moving on because Jesus, He is the altar of our faith and the perfecter of the faith that He has He has given us. Let us hold on unto Him. Let us value the blood of Jesus. Let us do that which He has said we should do. Because he says that if we love him, we will obey his commandments. This morning, I'm encouraging us that as we still have life in us, let us continue to wash our clothes by obeying the commandments of, of our God. By staying in Christ, by living according to what he has commanded us, to do because when we obey the law of Christ we will abide in his love as he also abided in the love of God by obeying his commandments we thank God for this day let us continue let us be encouraged let us move on with all perseverance with all the love God has placed in us that our clothes continue to be washed in the blood of Jesus. May the Lord bless us. May he keep us. May he take hold of our lives that we will be able to on a daily basis, hour by hour, minute by minute, second by sec second, wash our clothes in the blood. For they are those that will be shattered, that will stay, that will abide, in the presence of the Most High. Then, all our hungers, all our tears, will be wiped off. The solution to human need is when we abide under His shadow, under His shelter. When our God becomes our shelter. Because Psalm 91 says, if we abide under his shadow, shadow, that is where we will get safety. He's our sure and very present help. Let us hold on to him whilst we wash our clothes in his blood. 
When the Lord bless us, He take control of our lives. May the Lord continue to lead us on the path of righteousness. That we will gradually walk in His path as we commit all into His hands and wash our clothes in the blood. That when He shall come, we will not be those invited to the banquet without the right prescribed rope on us. That our robes will be as white as snow. After all, he invited us that if our sins, even they are the deepest red color we can find, we should come and they will be as white as snow. May the Lord continue to hold us day by day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shalom. Peace. May the Lord shine his face upon you. May he bless you. May he protect you. You and your family and that which concerns you. May he listen to your prayers. May he be at your side when you most need him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.